This is the Tyco Electronics training video for the T-Dux inflatable duct sealing system. The T-Dux duct sealing system is a wrap around inflatable mastic line bladder used to seal empty or filled cable ducts. The T-Dux sealing system can be installed even while water is flowing out of the duct. T-Dux seals can be installed in manholes, vaults, buildings, cabinets, or anywhere a reliable duct seal is needed. Applications include ducts containing multiple copper, coax, fiber, customer premise cable, or air pipes. T-Dux seals can be installed between 23 to 104 F. It is recommended that the T-Dux sealant bag and gas cylinders be kept warm until installation when installed at temperatures below freezing. T-Dux is available in 10 sizes, from the T-Dux 35 for a 1 inch duct up to the T-Dux 150 which is for a 6 inch duct. One of the following inflation tools available from Tyco Electronics must be used to install the T-Dux sealing system. The T-Dux IGSRAS inflation gun can be connected to a pressurized air bottle or compressor. The inlet pressure to the inflation gun should be a minimum 60 PSI and maximum 150 PSI. The T-Dux IT-16 inflation tool uses disposable CO2 gas cylinders. Both guns are equipped with a pressure gauge and safety relief valve. Both guns will inflate the T-Dux to approximately 3 bar or approximately 45 PSI. Each T-Duck gun comes in its own convenient carrying case. The CO2 gas cylinders for the T-Dux IT-16 inflation tool can only be ordered from Tyco Electronics. They come in a standard pack of 10. T-Dux comes with a bottle of lubricant. Their lubricant is used to lubricate the mastic on the T-Dux bag. This will prevent the bag from sticking to itself during inflation. Prior to installing T-Ducts, clean approximately 4 inches of duct in cable sheath with a wet cloth. If this is not possible by hand, you may wrap the cloth around a blunt object such as a screwdriver and clean as much of the duct as possible. Before installing the T-Ducts, remove the protective paper from the outside of the T-Ducts. Thoroughly lubricate the exposed mastic at both ends of the T-Ducts. Lubricate the fill tube area also. This will make removal of the fill tube easier after inflation. Turn the bag over. Remove the protective paper from the inside of the T-Ducts. Thoroughly lubricate the exposed mastic from one end to the other of the T-Ducts. Wrap the T-Duct seal around the cable and slide completely into the duct. Be sure that the T-Duct is slightly past or even with the outside edge of the duct. Be sure that the filling tube faces out of the duct and center cable and duct prior to inflation if possible. Unscrew the connector one half turn and remove the previous filling tube. Insert the T-Dux filling tube into the connector as far as it will go. You will feel a slight resistance as the fill tube is pushed past the O-ring seal. Note, you must push the fill tube past this O-ring or you will not be able to fully inflate the T-Dux due to the gas leaking at the connector. Tighten the connector hand tight on. Push the on-off lever to the on position the T-Ducts will begin to inflate. Observe the pressure gauge. The pointer will slowly move around the dial. When 
it reaches the green sector, filling is complete and the flow of gas will stop. Leave the on-off lever in the on position for 30 more seconds. After 30 seconds, push the on-off lever to the off position. Observe the pressure gauge pointer for a few more seconds. It should remain stationary within the green sector, indicating no gas loss from the T-ducts or the inflation tool. You are now ready to remove the T-ducts filling tube. Wrap the tube around one finger and pull firmly. Once you remove the fill tube from the T-ducts, it is a good practice not to remove the fill tube from the inflation tool. This will prevent dirt or grime from compromising the O-ring seal in the connector. When the fill tube is removed, the CO2 gas or compressed air used to inflate the T-ducts is prevented from escaping by means of a self-sealing gel seal against the inside wall of the duct. To remove the T-ducts, deflate the T-ducts by piercing with snips or a screwdriver. Pry the T-ducts away from the duct and from the cable sheath with a blunt tool. Pull the T-duct seal out of the duct with a pair of nines or pliers. To install T-ducts in a duct with two cables, start by placing the T-ducts between the two cables. Wrap the T-ducts around the cables and slide completely into the duct. Connect the fill tube and start the inflation of the T-ducts. If during inflation the indicator on the gauge does not reach the green area, this indicates that you have run out of CO2 gas. Press the on-off lever to the off position. Unscrew the gas cylinder holder. Remove the empty gas cylinder. Place a new gas cylinder into the gas cylinder holder. Reattach the gas cylinder holder to the inflation tool. Push the on-off switch to the on position and continue filling. After inflation is complete, wait 30 seconds, then remove the fill tube. The T-duct seal duct seal clip is used in combination with the T-ducts if the duct is occupied with three or more cables. One T-duct's CL clip can seal up to four cables. If more cables are to be sealed, use one extra clip per three additional cables. Before installing the clip, remove the release paper from one section. Using the supplied lubricant, thoroughly lubricate this section of mastic before moving on to another section. Lubricate each section in order to make sure that the mastic does not stick to itself. At one end of the clip, there is a mark. When it's solid in the T duct's clip, this mark should be flush with the duct entrance. 
Lubricate the cables well where the cables come together. You may do this with the supplied T-Dux lubricant, or you may use any other company approved lubricant to do this. This will help with the insertion of the T-Dux clip into the duct. Insert the clip between the cables, making sure that there is only one cable between each clip wing. Make sure that the center part of the clip is positioned where the cables come together. The following is the illustration of how the four cables are positioned around the clip. Here are a few more examples of how you position different number of cables around the T-Dux clip. If necessary, use the supplied tie wrap to hold the clip in place. Cut off excess tie wrap and position the head between the cables. Tape all cables together near the duct. Because you have used the T-Ducts clip to seal around the four cables, you will now wrap the T-Ducts around the four cables as if they were one cable. Be sure to slide the T-Ducts completely into the duct and make sure that the filling tube faces out. Follow the standard inflation procedures. To use the T-Ducks IGSRAS inflation tool, insert the fill tube into the gun. Squeeze the on-off trigger to start the inflation of the T-Ducks. You must continue to hold the trigger. Continue to inflate the T-Ducks until the safety relief valve whistles. Release the on-off trigger. Wait 30 seconds to make sure that the pointer on the pressure gauge remains in the yellow fill area. You may then remove the fill tube. T-ducts can be used to seal a duct even while water is flowing out of the duct. Follow all standard installation procedures. T-ducts can also be used to provide a reliable water block in empty duct around inner duct around single and also multiple cables in an inner duct Also around air pipe.
Key ducts can also be used to seal square ducts with the addition of a T-Ducts square duct mastic corner kit. The kit contains a roll of mastic and rubber rods. After you have installed the T-Ducts in the duct, cut an 8 inch long piece of mastic and wrap it around a rubber rod at least 1 inch from the end of the rod. Use only the mastic material and rubber rods available in the T-Duct Square Duct Kit. Repeat to create four mastic corner pieces. Thoroughly soak two mastic corner pieces and slide them into the bottom two corners of the duct, flush with the outside edge of the duct. Thoroughly soak the two remaining mastic corner pieces and place them into the top corners flush with the outside edge of the duct. Allow the mastic corners to rest on the T-ducts. Connect the fill tube and follow the standard inflation practice. After inflation is completed and you have waited 30 seconds to make sure there is no gas leakage, remove the fill tube. Remember the standard installation procedures. Clean the duct, remove release paper and lubricate T-ducts thoroughly. Wrap T-ducts around the cable, insert the T-ducts until it is flush with the duct hatch inflation tube. Inflate the T-duct to the proper pressure. Wait 30 seconds. Remove fill tube. This concludes the training video for the Tyco Electronics T-ducts inflatable duct seal. If you have further questions regarding the use of T-Ducts, please contact your local Tyco Electronics sales representative.